After nine years of Housewives, there are many different opinions of Lisa Vanderpump, but there are several things that just can't be denied. She puts her money where her mouth is, she's a huge advocate for animals, and she has a very successful marriage. In fact, her own daughter, Pandora, says her parents' marriage is an inspiration to her because of the way they combine work and marriage. So let's take a closer look into the couple's 37-year marriage and see if this combination is the true formula for a successful marriage. Ken Todd and Lisa Vanderpump were both born in London, England. Ken on July 20th, 1945, and Lisa on September 15th, 1960. When Ken was a teenager, he married his first wife, Pamela Todd, before divorcing and raising his son, Warren, as a single parent while working in the textile industry. Eventually, he purchased his first bar called Corks. Then he continued to build his fortune from owning bars and restaurants, which ultimately would make him worth a whopping estimated $85 million. Lisa, on the other hand, had early aspirations of making it big as an actress, since she had been dabbling in acting since she was a child. Lisa met Ken when she was picking up her brother from the club he worked at. A manager was sick, so Lisa stayed to help out, and that's when Ken walked in. He was 37 and she was 21. They felt an instant connection. She was dating someone else at the time, however, she gave him her number anyway. They met again a few weeks later and started dating. Six weeks later, they were engaged. Three months later, they were married. From the very beginning, their business relationship gelled very quickly. Lisa became the designer of the bars and restaurants, and Ken handled the business side. They worked side by side on a daily basis, solidifying their status as a team. In 1986, the couple had their first child, a girl they named Pandora. Lisa was physically capable of having other children, however, she made the conscious decision to adopt, and Ken stood by her side and supported her decision. They tried to adopt four times, yet only one adoption was successful, and that was the adoption of her son, Max, in 1991. The couple have lived in London, the English countryside, and the south of France before moving permanently back to Beverly Hills in 2004. In 2005, they teamed up with Rachel and Guillermo Zapata as business partners in co-owning Sir Restaurant, which stands for Sexy Unique Restaurant. After Sir, they opened Villa Blanca. Lisa's next major business move kind of fell into her lap. She had been asked several times to audition for an upcoming reality show, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Lisa was hesitant at first, but after giving it some thought, she finally went to the last audition. The audition was a huge success, and before she knew it, she was cast as a full-time cast member on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She quickly realized that joining the show would broadcast her restaurants in 137 countries, introducing them to people that would have never known they existed. And she would be taping with her good friend Kyle Richards. Plus Ken would be by her side every step of the way. What a win-win situation, or so she thought. In fact, she was later quoted in Glamour magazine as saying, I never intended to make it my career. But I was smart. I used the show to draw attention to my businesses. So with a business plan in her head, she opened up her life to the cameras. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills premiered October 14th, 2010. The show was an instant hit and filled with lots of drama from Camille's disastrous dinner party with her psychic friend who had a little too much to drink to Ken getting bad vibes about longtime friend of 15 years and house guest Cedric Martinez. Ken felt Cedric had been there long enough and had wanted him to move out, but Lisa didn't. But when she found out the disheartening news that he had been allegedly selling stories about her to the tabloids, she was devastated by the betrayal. Ken was there to consult and protect Lisa, ultimately kicking Cedric out of the home. That's when Cedric went to the media and gave his definition as to what really happened. He said, after Lisa discovered the truth about her husband's prostitutes, affairs, and love child, she made the choice to stay with a cheater so she could continue on her desperate quest for fame. Then she kicked me to the curb. 
For the first time, Lisa realized just how vicious reality TV could get. However, she decided to take the good with the bad and decided to move forward. In 2011, Lisa released a shoe line called Vanderpump. Immediately, many noticed she included her surname in the name of the product, and some even called it Cheeky. However, Lisa saw the bigger picture. She clearly knew what she was doing. She was actually branding her name, making her products recognizable. This was the beginning of Lisa using her surname in her businesses. Creating a shoe line may have been a way for Lisa to expand her brand, but it also created a bit of a rivalry between her and co-star Adrian Malouf, who also had a shoe line. Lisa was even quoted as saying, watch out Malouf Hoof, the Vanderpump is on his way to kick your ass. Then Adrian told several outlets that she was considering opening a rival restaurant right near Lisa's restaurant. But once they found out that Ken had to go in for hip replacement surgery, all projects were put on hold and Lisa remained by his side until he got back on his feet. With Villa Blanca being featured on the show, making it known worldwide, and the creation of Vanderpump Shoes, and the publication of her book titled Simply Divine, a guide to easy, elegant, and affordable entertaining, she was finally getting the business rewards she had envisioned. Many would have stopped there, but not Lisa. She had a bigger idea. She wanted to create a show about her wait staff at her restaurant. She thought it would make great television while promoting her other restaurant, Sir. By the time she got the green light for eight episodes, Lisa and Ken were credited as executive producers and her surname was included in the project. The show was titled Vanderpump Rules. The show premiered January 7th, 2013 in a rather unique way. It aired right behind The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. However, there was no ending for The Housewives and no intro to Vanderpump Rules. In fact, viewers had no idea they were watching a different show. The two shows even shared a storyline, which was Brandy Glanville hashing it out with Sheena, who had an affair with Brandy's ex-husband, Eddie Cibrian when she was married. Brandy would go on to say that Lisa used her by asking her to sit down with Sheena. She felt the only thing that was accomplished was that it allowed the two shows to mesh, ultimately giving Vanderpump Rules more pub on its debut. This was the beginning of the downfall of their friendship and it would play out on Housewives on season four and five. Nevertheless, this didn't stop Vanderpump Rules from debuting with huge numbers. It was a massive hit. As the rift grew between Brandy and Lisa, Lisa continued to work. She went on Dancing with the Stars and was voted out in week four. That same year, she announced the launch of her new wine called LVP Sangria. When she returned to the Housewives that season, she quickly learned that Brandy was letting everyone in the group know that she felt that Lisa was a manipulator. Ken stood by his wife's side at the reunion when he said, we didn't feel like the relationship was going where it should go. Then he turned to Brandy and said, I don't think I could ever let you back into my life. Later that year, Lisa and Ken were about to open a third restaurant called Pump, but a lawsuit was filed against them. A couple claimed they wanted that building to open their sports bar, but Lisa and Ken interfered with the contract. In the end, the claim held no merit and Pump was opened May 16, 2014. Then it was later revealed that fellow housewife Nene Leakes will go on the record to say that Lisa Vanderpump stole the idea of Pump Restaurant from her. She told the interviewer, Jenny McCarthy, she too was interested in buying that same location. But when she asked Lisa Vanderpump, was it a good idea? She said Lisa told her no, that building is a dump. However, she went on to buy it for herself and turned it into Pump. Then, Nene ended the interview by saying, we're going to get Lisa Vanderpump. In March of the same year, she released the Vanderpump Beverly Hills Collection, a line of homewares. She also received a star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars. In April 2015, Ken had to go in for a second hip replacement surgery. Once again, Lisa shut down everything to tend to her husband. On season five of The Housewives, Brandy tried to reconcile with Lisa just before playfully slapping her across the face. That incident permanently ended the friendship. It was also the beginning of Brandy's vicious Twitter campaign against Lisa that still remains to this day. Like when Lisa's dog passed away, Brandy would tweet, My boys love Pink Dog. 
It is so sad, but maybe those toxins in that pink hair dye didn't help. Then there were more mean-spirited tweets like, Merry Christmas, Vanderkunt. Yes, I'm having my moment, and it's amazing. How is yours? Ha ha ha. Or is it a cunt? Ha ha ha. Many often compare Brandy's vendetta to former house guest Cedric Martinez. That same year, Lisa released a jewelry line called Vanderpump Estate Jewelry Collection. During an interview with Andy Cohen, he brought up the fact that Lisa Vanderpump was a target of Lisa Renna's Instagram stories, where she would accuse Vanderpump of wearing fur, then go on to say how could she when she claimed to be an animal lover. She continued to bash Lisa by saying she was very good at making people look like a villain. It was widely reported this was the season that tension started to brew between Vanderpump and Renna. That same year, Lisa and Ken found out about the Yulin Meat Festival in China. Many people eat dog meat in China, so a festival was put together every summer since 2009 where tens of thousands of dogs were captured, crammed into wire cages, unable to extend their limbs, denied food, dehydrated, then slaughtered and served as meals. Repulsed by what she saw, she decided to put together a large protest. She was committed to help in any way that she could. As she continued to open businesses, there was a pet accessory line called Vander Pets. There was a home accessory line. She even launched a line of emojis called Vander Mojis. Then she opened a pet rescue center she called Vanderpump Dogs. Then a line of wine called Vanderpump Rosé. She even became editor-in-chief of Beverly Hills Lifestyle Magazine. Then came the beginning of the end of Ken and Lisa's time on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. When Lisa Renna first went public about her disdain for Lisa Vanderpump, Kyle Richards protected Vanderpump, especially when, on August 2017, Ken was accused of insulting one of his employees. When Lisa Renna mentioned it on the show, Kyle Richards would later tell Andy Cohen, I was actually very taken back. I was really shocked. She went after Lisa Vanderpump. I was shocked. I felt extremely defensive of Lisa Vanderpump. And I was like, what in the hell is Lisa Renna doing now? Then, on a special edition of Watch What Happens Live LA, a fan asked Lisa Vanderpump if she were to give Lisa Renna a tagline, what would it be? And she said, go back to dusters and diapers. An offended Lisa Renna immediately replied, I made more money on those dusters and diapers than you'll ever make at your restaurants. Lisa went on to open a fourth restaurant named Tom Tom. Shortly after, Lisa reached one of her biggest accomplishments. Congress finally passed legislation she had been working on for years, the House Resolution 401, calling for an end to dog and cat meat industry, passed in the House. Representative Elsie Hastings personally thanked Lisa Vanderpump from the House floor. Lisa Vanderpump became the first and only housewife to get legislation passed. On April 30th, 2018, Lisa's world was shattered when her brother was found unresponsive in his England home. He had died from drug toxicity. Lisa would go on to admit she probably should have took the year off, but she didn't. She went back to work instead. Immediately upon returning to work, Lisa was accused of selling a story to the tabloid of Dorit not returning the dog back to Vanderpump Dogs, but to another shelter. Lisa Renna accused Lisa Vanderpump of setting the whole thing up just to make Dorit look bad. And Kyle admitted on camera if she would have agreed with Lisa Vanderpump, the other women would lose respect for her. Brandy Glanville even spoke her piece on her podcast. She said, it's just so refreshing to see all these girls finally figuring it out. It makes me feel like, thank God, it's about effing time. I love that Lisa Renna is calling her out. This is a setup. This is what she does. It only took nine years. The women had turned their back on her and the only person left in Lisa's corner was Ken. Lisa refused to film with the other women. And somehow she went on to open another restaurant called Vanderpump Cocktails. But it was all too much for Lisa. Ultimately, she ended up quitting the show that she had been a part of for nine seasons. She would go on to say, Dealing with the attacks from the cast and the struggle with the death of my brother was too much for me to deal with.
and Ken stated, there has been a huge amount of nastiness that has pushed my wife to the brink. Their pettiness says everything. There are so many things we could have said, but we haven't. Then, June 17, 2019, the unthinkable happened. Lisa's mother unexpectedly died. As Ken and Lisa went to England for the funeral, Hollywood Life published a report that stated, the cast of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills was elated Lisa had quit the show. In other words, there was no love lost. Since her mother's death, Lisa has cut back on working so much. She's down to just filming Vanderpump Rules and her good friend Lance Bass from the singing group NSYNC. He stated, for the last year, she's been very down. It's been a hard year. Of course, the girl's turning on her, but it's nice to see her smile again. And you know, she's back to Lisa. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think of the ups and downs of Ken and Lisa's life? And do you think the secret to their marriage is teamwork? And don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video. See you next time. Bye.